Hello there everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought I could do a video on some of my favorite herbal magic books, or at least the books that really detail in depth the magic of specific herbs. This is a topic that I am exceptionally passionate about and something that I get asked to share constantly. I have about 20 books on this and out of all of those, I have selected the three that I think are actually comprehensive, mostly trustworthy, and valuable resources. Ultimately, when it comes to witchcraft, a lot of times these books are based in only Eurocentric understandings of magic, and so you will see that throughout these books. Um, there are some mentions of other understandings, especially when working with herbs that are native to other areas of the world. However, often with this, you need to be conscious of cultural appropriation if you are of European descent. And personally, I find if you are working with herbs that are a big part of another culture to really delve into that and not just trust a one person's view on that. So that is something to keep in mind while going through this. So having said that, these are the three books that I think give the most comprehensive view of the majority of herbs you may come across in magical practice. Again, there are going to be other sources and I recommend seeking out as many as you can find on this subject, but these are a good starting point. And the dogs are being crazy. Hi, are you ready to learn? No, we're not. <laughs> you guys are a lot this morning. You got a lot of attitude. So first, I want to share with you Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. It is a classic book, all of Cunningham's books are, and it's, it's really good. It's very comprehensive. It has a massive, massive bibliography and very well researched and diverse information. I do not personally always agree with the gender element or planet of the herbs he specifies in this book. Um, but for the most part I do, and ultimately I can understand where he drew those conclusions. And for most people, those are not going to be as important as the properties and the practices involving herbs. And he does a really good job of just outlining the herb and the powers it has and magical uses that have traditionally been used. So this is a really good book for simple folk practices with specific herbs and it's a really good comprehensive guide. It's the first book I turn to when I'm looking to profile a new herb and it's a very trustworthy source. Ultimately, like I said, I don't always agree with everything that he has in here, um, especially when it's the gender element planet distinctions, but the lore is often really good. The uses are always based in some folk magic. And well, sometimes I also feel that he notes powers that are not really powerful in an herb, it's still just a very good resource. I recommend it. I will be this picky with all of these books. I think that herbal magic and specifically deciphering the magic held within herbs is a topic that is often not picked apart very thoroughly. And so uh, I have a lot of opinions on it, hence why I've only selected three books out of 20. But Cunningham's book is a very good one. Uh, great for a beginner. One of the first books I would buy if I were uh, a new person delving into herbal magics. It's not the first book to understand what magic is, but it is a great book to understand how to utilize herbs in a personalized craft. Next, I want to share a compendium of herbal magic by Paul Bayerl. Barrel? Barrel? It is a rather new book to my collection and I'm kind of surprised it took me this long to get my hands on it. But this book is one of my favorite books now for understanding the lore behind herbs, along with uh, just kind of deep diving into more of the uses. You can really see in this book and understand where the uses have developed. So. Often in the lore, you'll see how the herbs have played out in historical stories and then how that story has influenced its use in practical folk magic. And it's really interesting. It really helps to solidify understandings of herbs for me and really round out their properties. I think that it's a uh, really good comprehensive guide, again, on more of this 
history of use in a sense. And I just, I, I adore the lore section. There's some really good information on that. And then the uses are similar to uh, Cunningham's book where it's, you know, here are just some traditional uses. I think it's nice to cross-reference and find overlap, uh, but it's definitely a very good book, especially if you're interested in the lore and it has so many herbs, so many, so many herbs. So very much would recommend this book. Again, cross-reference, double check things, check across cultures. This does tend to be a very, very Eurocentric book, but there are other herbs that are not just European based. And uh, once again, I would recommend seeking out some other sources on those things in addition to these books. But this book has a lot of information and I would really recommend it. And then finally, this book was a recommendation to me from Olivia, the Witch of Wonderlust and it has been incredible. It's one of the first books I've read in recent years that has actually taught me something uh, big and really opened my eyes to a concept that I had been kind of stuck on, and that's the concept of the planets. So in herbal documentation, often traditionally, we'll see gender, element, and planet listed as qualities of the herbs. And I never really understood how to read the planets in relation to herbs and what that truly entailed, but this book teaches you and it is an invaluable resource for that. There are some things I disagree with it on a little bit, but I think that's because it's based more on personal perception and I am still building my awareness on that, but for the most part, it is phenomenal. And it has a decent, section on just uh, some with herbal profiles. They're small, they're much smaller than these other books, but it does add another place to cross-reference and it, it is an interesting uh, little study. But really, I think this is valuable for understanding how the planets play a role in magic and especially in these profiles relating to herbs and the magic of herbs. But this book is The Herbal Alchemist's Handbook, A Complete Guide to Magical Herbs and How to Use Them by Karen Harrison. Super valuable. I, I love it. I very much recommend it. It is perhaps not the first book I would recommend to a beginner. It is definitely a little bit more of an intermediate kind of book, but I adore it. I learned some really great things from it and um, I will never stop recommending it. So ultimately the first two books I've recommended are really just books on herbal profiles. I've read a few more books that are these compendium of herbs. I am working on writing my own, but that will be a while because my goodness, does it take a while to collect all that information? But I am writing a list of herbs. So if you have any herbs that you want um, someone to delve into and build profiles on, please let me know in the comments and I will continue my work on that. But I think it is really valuable for everybody who works with herbal magic to have compendiums on hand to just study and understand. And then the this book is just very good for understanding how planets align and another good version of um, some details on herbs. So I these are the three out of the many that I have that I would recommend and do see as valuable resources. Most of the other books I have, I feel are fairly ill-researched in a lot of ways or very biased. I think there is still value in them, but you have to be kind of picky with how you um, dissect that information and understand it and, and integrate it into craft. And I don't want to necessarily offer those books in a beginner setting just because that does require a bit more comfort in practice and awareness of working with herbs. And I think these are a great place to start before delving into other sources. So I hope you find this useful. I get asked for book recommendations all the time. I am so picky with book recommendations that it's hard for me to want to do that and give recommendations on books that I just don't feel are 100%. And I still feel like these could be a little bit better for sure, but these are the best that I have come across. So I hope you enjoy them and give them a read. They're useful just to have on hand truly. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day.
If you can and would like to, I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon. There I share art, herbal profiles, more book recommendations, and a ton of other fun things. I've started doing workshops monthly in the Juniper tier. Uh, it's a $15 tier and every month I do a live stream on a topic that you all are interested in and it's available for two weeks and it's just a really fun interactive lesson. Uh, additionally, if you haven't seen it yet and would like to see more videos from me, I have a second channel that's kind of a vlog channel, kind of a creative channel. It's just where I share more of my life. And so if you're interested in either of those, they will both be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye. Do you want a book? Do you want a snack?